Hello everybody and welcome to my uh, YouTube channel where I share about human design, my experience with human design, the knowledge of human design through my unique perspective. It's only what I see and this what counts, at least for me. So today I'm going to talk about the 1-4 profile. We know that in the profile we have conscious behavior and unconscious behavior. The first number will be conscious behavior, one, and then the unconscious behavior will be four. So the fourth line frequency is a frequency of networks and opportunity, and it needs certain stability in its social life. It's all about providing opportunities to other people and receiving opportunity from a circle that is familiar. Yeah, like friends, colleagues, partners, family. It speaks about intimate relationship, people that you can rely on and they can rely on you. This is the fourth line frequency in the body, the unconscious behavior of oneself. And then we speak about the first line in the personality, in what we think we think we think we are. And the first line is saying, I need to know the foundation. I need to know the essence of things. It is based fear. I must know so I will not fail. I need to know what is the ground of everything. I need to know the details. I need to go deep into whatever it is so I can be secure. So what we see here is a certain tension between social life that the body is asking and very self-absorbed life in the personality, very self-centered in the personality. You can feel the, the paradox that exists there. So the body might going to say, hey, I want to meet people and I want to interact and I want to create relationship and I want to be around and to give opportunities and to receive opportunities. And the mind might say, no, no, first you need to invest. First, you have to investigate. You need to stay home and closed. And maybe it's a bit dangerous to go outside. Maybe it's dangerous to meet that person. And the idea is to follow your inner authority and your strategy and then the profile balance itself. It's a very interesting tension that is happening in the 1-4. And what I encourage 1-4 is to wait for the right opportunity for you. And not let the mind that is guided by fear and details fooling you that if you will know all the details, you will make the right decisions and then the opportunity will show up. The other way around. Let your body just be open to the opportunities that come to you and feel free to offer opportunities if you have something to give and it comes naturally without thought. And let your mind just study something, whatever it is, so it will not interfere in your decision-making process. Let your mind be busy with investigating and learning something and the opportunity might come or not and the body can respond to it and can follow it and lead it or not. But it's not that the mind, the investigator mind can know what is a good opportunity and what is a bad opportunity. The mind cannot know that. It's only your body that it has a social intelligence in it can know the answer. So I'm asking you, can you trust it or not? Can you surrender to your body, to your profile entirely or not?